Hello and welcome to Shovel Knight! So you might be wondering why in the heck am I not playing Banjo-Tooie? The answer to that is I am moving tomorrow. Actually at the time of this recording I'm moving in approximately 12 hours. I'm going to the airport. At the time you guys are actually seeing this uploaded I'm already on the plane. So the Banjo-Tooie episodes take like four hours to make and well because I'm leaving so soon I probably could have gotten like one more episode done of that. Or I could just grind out a bunch of blind videos for Shovel Knight and get like a whole week's worth of content. And a lot of you guys have wanted to see Shovel Knight blind anyways, so I figured, you know what, let's get like a week's worth of content out just for, just to hold you guys over until I can get situated in my new place and hopefully get back to Banjo-Tooie. So we'll have a handful of this as well as four other videos that I have made, and uh, that'll hopefully be enough before I can get situated. Anyways guys, let's get started. Enough putting things off. I've actually never played this game or seen anyone play it, so this is totally, totally blind. I guess we're gonna go for a new file. Let's go with file number seven. <laughs> Why not? Uh, register your name. I think there's something if you like make your name butt. And just a heads up, I am playing on the keyboard. This is probably meant to be played on a controller, but I've already packed my controllers away. So we're gonna go with this. I guess we're gonna be butt. And I already can tell this game is gonna be amazing. And you know how I can tell that? Look how fast I can move through the menu. Games that let you move through the menu as fast as you can press the button are amazing. Games that have really slow menus suck, so this game is going to be amazing automatically. So we press K to confirm, that's a weird button, but we're going to go ahead and choose that profile. Let's get started! My first time ever seeing anything from Shovel Knight, except for like one picture someone tweeted me saying I should name my guy Butt. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventures. Uh, oh, adventurers. There's like a blue guy and a red guy. Press enter to skip. Oh no, I didn't want to skip that! No, I don't think I did. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. I'm thinking I did something wrong for the butt. I think it was supposed to say Butt Knight right there. So I already messed that one up. Oh well. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. Whoa. This is pretty much accurate to how cutscenes would have been back in the day. I don't know if they achieved these like fancy fate effects, but still pretty cool. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. I almost didn't have time to read that, I kind of waited too long. Oh look at him, he's digging up a rock. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of sol solitude. I love how <laughs> he keeps his knight armor. He's like, I'm gonna live out in the middle of nowhere, no one's going to see me. Except for this odd camera guy taking a picture of me digging up a rock. But, I'm still gonna wear my armor. Maybe it's just a part of him, maybe he doesn't even have skin, he might just be a robot. Uh... Okay, I think we're just about done here. The music is fading. Oh, no, we're still going. That is a fancy shovel. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. We got the ellipse right there. Triple dot. Well, we can see a menacing tower off in the distance. Maybe we're going to go tackle that. Do we get to play? Oh, dig in. Let's go. We're starting. So we got gold. We got items life. Looks like there's a boss HP right at the start. So we can't move with the arrow keys. We have to use WAZ. And we can use, uh, looks like... Spacebar to jump, and that's all I'm seeing so far. So Waz and Spacebar. Hopefully they'll teach me some more controls. How do I hit? How do I hit you? Can I click? No. Uh, I don't know how to kill you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I, like I said, I feel like this would be way better on a controller. Let me just figure out my controls here. Nope. That's the menu. So E is the menu. I'm just trying buttons here. Uh, anything. Oh my gosh. What the? What is that? Apparently you can also jump with K. There we go. Jade. Oddly, of all the buttons to use, J is the one that digs for us. So I'm thinking what I have to do is move my mic a little bit right here so I can actually uh, reach the J button. So I gotta do a two-handed keyboard thing right now. Oh gosh, if we jump and press down, it looks like it can do a jump attack. God dang, Scrooge McDuck up in here. Come here, buddies. Yo, sick. This music is way too intense for a first stage. It's kind of awesome, actually. I guess we got a bunch of jewels. Oh yeah. Wow, dude, the jumping feels really nice in this game. I like it. Is there a double jump? I don't think there is, but we can jump and attack at the same time. Let's kill this guy. Oh, we wrecked him. Oh my gosh, look at that. All those monies. Gosh dang money. So I'm guessing kind of like uh, DuckTales. No, you can't pogo stick unless it's off of something. Got it. Let's get this dirt out the way. Uh, like I said, guys, I've not seen anything from this game, so as far as where any secrets might be, I really have no idea. I'm just kind of going at this, so unfortunately because I'm moving and because I'm pre-recording a bunch, I'm not going to be able to interact with your guys' comments too much and actually see uh, people pointing out where secrets might be, so sorry about that. It might be frustrating to see me miss things, but oh well. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm guessing that's a checkpoint. Let's see if we can get this money up here. Oh gosh, that's way the heck over there. 
Uh, oh, oh god, it does not fall off right now. Let's let's do better than that. There we go. Okay, we can actually see where the thing's moving because there's an actual track in the background. Oh no, I'm gonna go back up there. And I guess I should point out. I hope I don't die too much because this is gonna be a very low editing series, just because I'm so I'm so time stuck right now. Like I've basically I've got to record these videos and then go edit them and then pack away my computer and then like go sleep and wake up and yeah. So it's pretty time strict, but I don't know, man. I know it's probably stressing myself out more than I should, but I really want to get you guys some videos because I don't want to just have nothing for gosh dang two weeks. Yeah, I gotta do what I can. I've got the time, so we might as well do it. Uh, oh my gosh, that guy- Oh, he's got the bubbles! Gosh dang, what is this, Pokemon doing bubble attacks? Okay, we can just keep Pogo sticking on top of him. I wonder if we can, like, ride the bubbles up top, if that would give me a secret if we ride them all the way up there. Not sure, but we made it through. That's exciting. Uh, oh, we can dig the skull. Uh, oh, that actually hits him! Nice! Oh, I get wrecked! Uh, I'm guessing the skulls are just for attacking. So we got some little dirts right here. Let's go dig through. I'm not sure if I should be exploring more. Is that something... I feel like there's going to be random walls that I can dig through or something to actually get stuff. So I'm probably missing all kinds of goodies along the way here, but... Whoa, look at that! That's like some Kirby stuff right there, when you break the bombs and all that good stuff. Bam! That, oh my gosh, of course there's going to be slimes inside there. Get wrecked, buddy. Yeah, let's go down this way. Pogar stick power! This is a long level. I'm not sure if this game is level-based or if it's just kind of a uh, you-keep-going thing. And I'm going to assume that those spikes are instant death like they tend to be in this type of game. But you never know. So let's go this way. I'm not sure if this is the intended path or if this is a secret path. Uh, looks like there might... I think that's a collectible, so this is probably a secret. Oh yeah, like, give me that. Uh, well, I don't know what I just gathered, but whatever it was, it looked cool. So, good enough for me. Let's go back this way. And let's go get that beetle guy. Come here, buddy. Oh! Gosh dang. My shovel is so powerful, you, you would think it would just stab into them, but no. Makes them gosh dang explode. We got some baddie dudes right here. Let's get these first. No, don't. Don't drop quite yet. There we go. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that pogo into attack combo? Gosh dang. I'm thinking I might need to bounce on that guy to get that gem. We got it. There's like a dinner plate down there. Uh. Oh, I want to go up here and get the secret first before I get rid of all the uh, dirt. So we got that. I guess now we can safely go down and see what we got in here. And it's a pot roast, or a turkey, or a chicken, whatever it is. I guess it's like Castlevania up in here. Alright. Oh, we actually get some money for digging out this dirt. Maybe I should uh, go dig all of it. I'm guessing there's one of you guys out there that totally digs all of the dirt patches you possibly can. Ugh, almost got it. Oh my gosh, I've already got 1,800 gold. I guess that these gems count towards my gold, even though they're clearly a different substance than gold. I don't even think they're metal, they're just different crystals, but... I guess that's what we're going to count it as. Oh, we got the bubbles, and we got another checkpoint. Awesome. Come here, buddy. Oh, pogo stick power. And there we go. Okay, so let's go up top here. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we got another one of these pterodactyl guys. Looks like there's a secret to the right, and just a ladder to the left. So let's go this way. I probably could have grabbed all those, but oh well. Over this way, we have more bubbles. So I'm guessing... It was a split path, maybe? I don't know. This game, it might, it might do that. It might have split paths. Oh no, this is just another collectible. So let's wait for these bubbles to come back so we can go back to the other side. See if I can actually grab that. Got it! Oh yeah. I'm going to assume that if we fall into the bottom, probably going to be instant death. So I'm going to do my best not to do that. Let's go ahead and kill this guy off. Grab that crystal. Let's go get this one while we can. Can we make it? We made it! Oh yeah. Over 2,000 gold already. They really just pile that stuff on you. And, oh my gosh, I gotta get used to that. You break the rocks and they just chuck random enemies at you. They got me first with the slimes. I don't think that guy actually hit me, though. My life looks like it's pretty full right now. Oh yeah, what was that? Okay, whatever that was, I guess it was the right way to go. Let's grab all these good... Oh my gosh, I just picked up a carrot. Ooh! Uh, I guess a bunch of money. Oh, we even got the big one. I think that was worth 80, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go bounce on this guy. Oh, or not, we'll just go right through the ladder. Do not even need the bouncies. Let's go ahead and... Oh, did I just hit that? Huh, I guess you can hit the checkpoints for some reason. Uh, let's kill this guy. Look at the background, it's kind of like split. Like the, the little lines in the background are kind of split in an interesting way, but I don't know, visually I, I definitely like this game a lot. And the controls are like pretty much perfect. I'm, I'm definitely very picky about controls, and I gotta say the controls in this game are 
basically perfect. I can't think of anything that is really wrong with him. Uh, I guess we'll just bounce on this guy for a while. Can I bounce on the spiky parts? I, c I can, but it doesn't really do anything. Let's just keep bouncing. Oh! Stop moving, buddy. There we go. Give me that crud. Ooh! Give me all those cruds. Gosh dang. Mm, you know what? We're going to wait for him. Oh my, he just killed himself. Well, I was going to say we're going to wait for him to move so I can pogo on him, but looks like he just totally wrecks himself if you wait long enough. So we have a crystal right here. And I guess we're going to go through this dirt. I'm going to try not to go through too fast. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you have to press the attack button to cancel your pogo. Otherwise, it just keeps going on its own. Oh, no, I got hit. This game seems pretty easy so far, but I guess that's kind of to be expected from the first stage. I'm not sure if it actually ever gets really difficult, but maybe it does. It seems like the kind of game that would get really hard later on. Uh, wow, we got more split paths. I guess I'm going to go left. That's kind of what my instincts tell me to do. Uh, yeah, we got more bubbles, so I guess this is probably the side that has a secret with it. Oh, yeah, we got treasures. Let's get it. Oh, take off that lock. And, oh, okay, the big ones are actually worth 200. All right. Well, guys, we just got up to 3,800 gold. I think I am going to call things here. I'm sorry that this is kind of a short, random spot for ending, but like I said, I'm kind of time struck. So, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, even though this one was rushed a little bit. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.